everybody. Today I have another haul for you because it's haul week. A week of hauls of stuff I bought that you can also potentially buy too if you like it. Haul week. So, this haul is shoes because people have been asking me to do a shoe haul. Sorry about my light switch. I can turn it off, I can turn it on, I can turn it off, I can turn it on. Actually, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Anyway, so these are my shoes. A little bit about my foot so you can make a little judgment about your foot. I wear a size 11, sometimes 12, because I got big feet. However, my feet are not super wide. They are not narrow, and they would say they're on the wider end of normal, but they are still normal width. I love how my computer made that noise, like it was like supporting that thought bubble. Boop, boop. Anyway, so I wanted to say that I will call out when I think, think things would work for wide width feet. Uh, just so you know, I just spit. Maybe you saw like the spit go boom. But let's, let's get into this. Let's get into some shells. So the first pair of shoes I have are adorable. They are heeled sandal cutout things. I don't know what these are specifically called. These are from Just Fab. Just Fab has secretly become one of my favorite places to get shoes. I'm actually gonna have several pairs of shoes from them today. They have about hmm, a two and a half inch heel and there's not a lot of toe support. So they are comfortable, but I wouldn't wear these for like a dance party, no. So they're okay, they're like moderate comfortable, but pretty good for a heel. The soft here, um, the sole here is pretty spongy, but again, very thin, it's not, super thick. So what's there is fairly comfortable, but I'd like a little bit more cushy cushy, if you know what I mean. The top is obviously fake leather, so it's not real. And it's all, it's all man-made. I'm gonna turn my computer off, it's driving me nuts. So it's 100% man-made materials as well. Next we have an amazing pair of espadrilles from Target. So I will note on these, these are not gonna work for a wide foot because I'm a little bit on the wider side, but not that wide, and my foot just fits in here perfectly. So I feel like if you were anywhere on the wider spectrum, they wouldn't work. I absolutely love the way they lace up. I love that I can choose to either unlace them that way or I can unzip them down, which has kind of become my routine. These are literally the most comfortable espadrilles I've ever had. I absolutely adore these, I love the color. There are several more colors available on Target.com, which is where I got these, but overall, very pleased with this shoe. Again, mad mean upper, upper rope bottom, and like some type of cushy cushy, and then I do like that there's a little bit of grip here, but not a ton. Note that that is not gonna be your world, and this almost feels like cardboard, so I don't know how amazingly awesome this bottom is. See, it's already kind of worn away a little bit. Beep, beep, beep. Next favorite pair of shoes from Ashley Stewart. If you've been watching my channel, you'll recognize these from my I'm so stressed out I'm shopping haul. These are, again, man-made material upper with feather accents. They are a pretty high heel. I'm not exactly sure how much this is, but it looks about three and a half. I'm gonna throw this out there. They have a lot more support here in the toe bed, but man, these are not comfortable for a long period of time. These are what I call club in, walk out type of shoes. You're gonna walk into the club with these on, you're gonna say hello, hi, then you're going to put these in your bag and put the flats that you actually packed on to dance. And then you'll walk out in the flats because you probably won't be sober enough to put these back on. But they are gonna be amazing for photo shoots and that's why I got them because they're sassy. And look at that, look at that! How can you not be in love? The next pair of shoes I have is Crocs! Everybody hates Crocs, I love Crocs. Crocs, 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 everybody! Crocs, 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 Crocs. It's really hard to say Crocs a lot. It's like the in the mouth. But I almost put my shoe in my mouth. That would have been disgusting because I have worn these a lot. So I usually buy one pair of Crocs each season. They last the whole season. They're super comfortable. If I'm going somewhere, I know I have to have a cute, appropriate attire, shoe, but they're gonna be comfortable for the whole day. I take these. Crocs has really stepped up their game as far as like stylizing shoes. Shoeses? <laughs> the shoeses are great. No, but they really, really are. And I encourage you, if you haven't checked them out in a long time, to check them out because these are an adorable gold sandal. I always get compliments when I wear them and I'm always like, they're Crocs. And people are always like, oh, really? I never knew Crocs 
make cute shoes. Newsflash, Crocs makes adorable shoes and they're super comfortable. I also find with them you can size about a size down and they do generally work for wide feet. The one caveat, you are gonna need to stretch them out a little bit. So they will be a bit tight on your foot the first time you wear them if you're wide foot, but then they should be fine. For me, I don't have that problem again because my foot's not wide, but I have a friend who has a wide foot and she also loves Crocs and that is her advice to you. Now we have another shoe from Just Fab. Every time I get these shoes out, I just want to jingle. I hear the da 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 Okay, I'm obsessed with these. Super comfortable, great for a wide foot. As you can see here, I have quite a lot of room at the ankle band, so even if my foot was, my ankle was like an inch wider, I would still be able to get them on. They are just a flat base shoe, so they're not built for comfort, they're built for beaching. And man, these are totally bitching. I mean, beaching, damn it. Tried not to swear, and then I swore twice. I don't know what I'm doing. I absolutely love these shoes. They're super comfortable, super fun. They're very like genie in a bottle. You gotta rub me the right way. But I love them. And they're black, man-made upper, metal accents. Uh, it looks like a, just a kind of soul is man-made. Everything is man-made. Man -made. A man made it all. Actually, isn't every shoe man-made? Like, let's be real here. Like, even if you have a leather shoe, like, somebody had to make that leather. It's not like the cow just, like, got on your shoe and is like, I made myself in here, too. Everything is man-made. Though, that said, I try not to buy a lot of leather unless it's really high quality and I know where it's from, blah, 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 because I don't want abuse from animals, but whatever. I don't want to say that. Everyone's going to hate me. Peta, come attack me. There we go. Bye. Here's another shoe from Just Fab, just for you. <laughs> Just video. Now available in various sizes for the modern woman. I should write their jingle. I should write their jingle. So again, I multicolored tassel. How could I say no? Multicolored tassel. How could I say no? Do 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 do. Okay. Again, all man-made materials. The sole has a lot more cushion than the other shoes I just showed you, so there's a little nice little cushion there. Again, not a ton and a very solid stole sole. <laughs> Great for wide feet. My favorite shoes this season, 100% these. I love them. They have a, I guess it's supposed to be an altar suede, but really it's just a man-made up or whatever. These are dirt cheap too. I think they're like $19 right now on sale. For like 19 bucks, these are like an amazing quality pair of shoes. Go get them. So uh, I've named the next two pairs of shoes I'm gonna show you because I ended up buying the same pair of shoe in two different colors because I loved them so much. So this is Mary Kate. And Ashley Solson. Get it? Like soles of the shoes. So I've really worn a lot of Mary Kate. I'm still getting into Ashley because I haven't even taken her tags off. But these are comfortable and adorable. And they do work for a little bit of a wider foot. I find I have quite a lot of room up here. I can't do it because I have them both there. But like in that space right there, there's a lot of room for your, your foot. They're adorable. I actually found Mary Kate and Ashley Solson at Target. I was looking for shoes. I wasn't even looking for these shoes. And some woman's like, you've got to get them in black too, blah, blah, blah. And I heard these women debating how amazing these shoes were and how they already had them. And I had to get another pair because they'd worn them through. And I just intently listened. And as soon as they left, I did that creepy thing where I went and grabbed the pair of shoes and tried them on just to like validate everything they'd said. And they were awesome. And so now I own both of them. So I'm going to put one of them down. Just to make it easier. The sole is super padded. Like I'm shocked. So a night of dancing totally can take it. The point is like just adorable. It's a fake ultra suede band made upper as always. It has a little bit better sole than that other Target shoe we looked at. So there's a little bit more grip there. Wicka, 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 wicka shoe. So I'm obsessed with Mary Kate and Ashley Solson. They're my favorite shoes right now. And uh, they go with everything. Get them. I shouldn't be telling you to buy things. Like you don't have to buy things, but like, Staple shoe alert. These are the bomb. So I'm on my last pair of shoes. And yes, they are that metallic. And if you can see, they have a shell. I want to know where the people are. I want to see, want to see I'm dancing. These are the Little Mermaid shoes. 100%. There's little shells. And even look at the back. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I don't know if I did it justice, but seriously, these are from Mod Cloth. They are amazing. I will be honest, these were a gift from Mod Cloth, um, but I didn't pick them out because who doesn't want to be in mermaid shoes? Boop, boop, boop. Uh, they are comfortable. Not gonna work for a wide foot. They are a little bit on the narrow side, but I still find them quite comfortable. Uh, little pro tip here, this back goes up quite higher than most people's average summer shoe. So when I wear these, I actually do put a little bit of anti-chafe cream or even a band-aid back there because until my foot gets totally adjusted to them, I'm getting a little bit of rubbing back there. But again, that's expected because this heel height, like your heel doesn't experience that. And most of blisters come from the fact that your, sh your foot like hasn't been conditioned to the style of shoe you're wearing. So I always try to put a band-aid back here when I wear them, though they're starting to kind of uh, loosen up a little bit and my foot is starting to adjust. So not really a problem anymore, but I love them. And they have just a little, little kid in here, just a little pop, just a little tooch for your booty, but big fan. I'm gonna burp. Wait for it. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna burp. So that was my shoe haul. That's all the shoes I brought for kind of spring summer. I do have a couple other pair of shoes you'll see me wear a lot, uh, even though I'm not showing them. Big fan of Tevas. If you haven't tried Tevas, they are my most comfortable summer sandal. I have a pair of flip flops and I have a pair of chunky flats platforms from last season i love them always a proponent of them so while they're not in my new haul i would say check them out i'll put a link down below because they are bananas and with that thank you so much for watching if you have any questions need any tips for shopping for shoes etc etc leave your questions down below and i will do my best to answer and help you have an amazing day guys i'll check you later and peace